Hi hey everyone, good evening. We are going to do some more surviving Mars. The release is only two days away. You guys hyped? Now we are already past the Mars Gate crisis. But there are still a few things I'd like to do. We are building up our Mega Dome. So for anyone who missed it, this is the Mega Dome. I think that's the biggest one, unless there's like a breakthrough for a bigger one. And we still got wonders we can build. There was one in particular that seemed really interesting. Which one was it? And there are two more we still need to unlock. Not this one. Dream Reality, yeah. Project Morpheus. Stimulates the development of new perks in adult colonies throughout the entire colony. That seems pretty good. It does require 240 electronics. That's a lot of electronics. But hey, we actually almost have enough. So once we are done with that... Well, there's actually one thing that I still mentioned uh, in today's YouTube video. I got word, like just yesterday, or actually today morning, uh, that there's going to be a patch around release day, or literally on release day, which is supposed to squash some bugs, but it will almost certainly make old save games incompatible. Which isn't super relevant for this particular game, because it's like almost done. But that pretty much means I will be starting a new colony just after that patch, one way or the other. We might do some test runs of some setups before that, but there's going to be a fresh one after the patch. What's going on with oxygen? 0 0.1 shortage? It's the pipe leak, isn't it? It is. We are actually on slow speed right now. There, that's better. Beneficial cucumber patch, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. <laughs> that's an amazing name, like seriously. I don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah, and it does mean there's going to be a new one on YouTube too. Hopefully they will fix uh, the bug that we encountered during the Mars Gate that made our drones get stuck in mass on the rough terrain on the cliff over here. You guys probably remember. And when I made them self-destruct, that only escalated the problem because they left uh, the resource they were carrying behind, and other drones rushed in to pick that up and got stuck themselves. So there was like a huge conga line of drones at one point. Hopefully they will fix that. <laughs> and I would really like to see some quality of life improvements, but I didn't get any details, I just know there's going to be a patch. Oh yeah, and the idiot human who tried to run to another dome, like literally through the cliff, and died of suffocation. Because one, it was too far away, and two, he got stuck on a cliff. So that wasn't very smart of him. Just saying. How much concrete do I have now? 2100. Right here. So that is quite a lot. And the rocket can take off. How much does the wonder require? I think like 320 at most. This one requires 320. Yeah, okay. So that's not really a problem. If anything, metals might be a bit of a problem. Actually, I think we should increase our metal production. Look at this. We are producing 8 metal, but we are spending 4 metal for consumption and 5.2 for maintenance. So we are actually using more metal than we are excavating at the moment. Let's see, the metal is down here. Okay. Well, we could add another work shift. That will increase daily production to 16. Not sure if we actually have enough people for that at the moment. 10 colonists couldn't satisfy their relaxation needs. Really? We do have allies that allows them to relax. They probably want more. Greedy bastards. Uh, 
Average comfort is still at 64, so that's still fine. Also, 12 unemployed people, apparently. Alright. Looks like we should actually get more facilities. I won't be building the research labs because we got the institute queued up. Where was it? Or did we research that already? No, it's down here. Martian Institute of Science. I would really like to get that. Not that we really need that much more science at this point. Look at all this concrete. Sectors this is all concrete storage. Every single one of these is concrete. And they are all completely full, which is why we can't move the concrete. <laughs> yup. Here, more concrete depots. <laughs> They'll be full by tomorrow. Looks like the Skynet is not intelligent enough yet. <laughs> yeah. There's actually artificial intelligence crisis slash mystery. If it's as intelligent as our drones, then that shouldn't be a very hard one. I'm just saying. How are their metals? 255. Alright, you know what we could do? We could build a tunnel up here to grab all these anomalies. I guess we can afford it by now. We got 88 machine parts. Oh, our machine part maintenance actually exceeds our production. Let's see. Where was the machine part factory? That's the electronics factory. Funding received. I think that was in another dome. Oh yeah, it was on the high ground dome, wasn't it? Yup. Here, another shift. That should speed things up. And more funding. We still got one celebrity in here. Look at the comfort level. 83. I think that's the highest we got out of any dome. Why are all these drones just waiting and doing nothing when building this maintenance? We got 38 drones in here. Probably don't need that many. Let's move some to the east. To that mega dome. That one could probably use more. Off you go. There's the hub. 26. Yeah, that's still quite a lot. Surviving Marbs is the best name. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, we will get to university eventually, but university isn't used for research. That's just used to train people in specializations. Uh, hi, 99 stars. You didn't lose much. We pretty much only just started, really. We almost finished scanning the entire planet now. Well, the entire area, not planet. <laughs> Look at all the rare metals in this area. Some of them are low quality, but still. That's like five rare metal deposits or in one single area. That's insane.
And these are all surface deposits. I don't think we found a single deep rare metal deposit. Which is actually kind of a bad thing, because deep deposits tend to have a lot more. Uh, will I play C4? Probably not. I'm likely to play board C5. But C4, probably not. Okay, seven machine parts per day now. Still a little bit slow, but I suppose that will do. How about that tunnel then? I'm not totally convinced it's worth spending 25 machine parts just to get access to this little area up here. But I guess we can do it anyway. Can we fit one close to the first? Sector scan. Okay, this should Anomaly be fine. Found. I don't think cold terrain will matter much for a tunnel. Tunnel itself doesn't use any power, and all cold terrain does is increase the power requirement by like 60%. So that's irrelevant. Okay, and the exit can be like up here or whatever. How far can we go? We can go quite far. We might also place it in the middle of this place. Because ultimately it doesn't make much difference. The cost will be exactly the same. Alright, this is fine. Another new anomaly. We might have to move some machine parts manually. Yup. They're probably in here, or on the high ground on the other side. That's where the actual machine parts factory is. That's probably where they are. Yup, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I saw Vox Populi had some updates since I last played. Definitely going to check them out. There was an update that fixed some warmongering calculations. I haven't actually played that one. I would love to do another co-op, but it's not exactly an easy thing to coordinate, I'll put it that way. Especially when you're not even remotely close to the same time zone. But even when you are, it's still not easy to coordinate. Definitely not. So, let's grab our rover. Where the heck is he? Yeah, look at all these... ...concrete depots. They are filling up quickly, and we only just built them. There's we the tunnel. Food shortage. Hey, what's going on? Wait, really? Actually, we are dropping on food rapidly. We should definitely get another farm. But first, let's move some food. We don't want people to starve, for obvious reasons. Pipe leak reported. The drones will do it, but I would prefer to move a larger quantity myself. How much do we have here? 50. Okay. Let's move half of it. Alright, so, farm. Let's build that farm. We don't want to run out of food. That would be an extremely bad thing. 
to say the least. I think one of our small domes still has a little bit of space. Yeah, this one still has some space. Although actually having enough people working the farm might be a problem. There's nobody unemployed here. And there aren't a lot of shifts that I could disable. Just go for the mega dome. We need to fill it with stuff anyway. And we did get some botanists for this one, as far as I remember. So right here will be good. Food storage is already there. The materials should be in the area, that's just concrete. Okay then. So let's connect the pipes and the cables to the newest tunnel. Probably won't actually need them, but might as well do it. That will do. And in we go. Hopefully this will be worth it. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Pipe leak reported. There's the farm. Okay, 50% soil quality. Let's start with soybeans in that case. We could do cover crops to increase it by 40%, but that has much lower yields. I'm okay with soybeans and then potatoes. That will increase soil quality by 10% per cycle. So that works. What is the life expectancy? The on-site data uh, hold that thought. Predictive we got 2,000 electrically charged research. Nice. Research. Complete. I don't think the game actually tells you how old people are exactly. Yeah, they just have an age group. Oh no, they well, it only says how many days they spent on Mars. So this only tells you how old they are if they are Martian board. If they are colonies from Earth, then that doesn't mean anything, really. So, autonomous hubs are done. Next up we got Martian Born Adaptability. You know what? Let's speed up the Martian Institute of Science. We'll do that first. And then get that in our newest dome. Uh, Sol is like one day, 25 Earth hours. Okay, the farm looks good. Let's maybe get one more food storage because this one will not be enough in the long run. We still got almost 300 food, so it's not going to be an issue. Are you done with that scan? You know what we could do with this area? We could build scanned. Milestone some achieved. generators, the wind turbines. 82% elevation boost. Yeah, this is the most elevated area on this map. By far. This area has only 43% elevation boost. So it would be best to just dismantle all our wind turbines and move them up here. That makes way more sense. 
And we got the achievement, the milestone. We scanned every single sector on the map. Breakthrough discovered. And we got a breakthrough. Factory automation. I like the sound of that. Lowers the amount of workers needed in factories. That's actually a pretty good one because factories require a crap ton of workers. Like if we look at the electronics factory, look at how many people there are in here per shift. How many people is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 people per shift. So we got 20 people working in just that one electronics factory. And this entire dome has 85. So, yeah. Almost one fourth of the entire dome is working in that one electronics factory. Alright, so let's grab our rover. It's not like he has anything better to do. Come here. He needs a few more drones. Where's a free drone? Right here. Reassign that. And reassign. Okay, that's going to be six drones on the rover. Come here. And we'll use him to build the turbines. They're just going to be so much better. A wrong rover. Alright, let's do exactly that then. How good is this deposit? High grade. And that's actually a lot of rare metals. We'll probably build a dome here eventually, if we end up playing this particular game long enough. This would be a decent location for a mine. Okay, that will do. Just need to move the actual resources now. That's concrete and machine parts. Concrete is not exactly an issue. We have way too much of that, in fact. We can just start a concrete depot and set up a route. Yep. Just move an entire depot worth of concrete. And the flying drones can handle the machine parts. I wonder what kinds of mods people will come up with for this game. Anomaly analyzed. There were a lot of really good ones for City Skylines. Pipe leak reported. Oh yeah, that was the anomaly. We got some more science done here, and it looks like that's going to be the last one. The last anomaly on the map. Six machine parts. Okay. We could get an upgrade. Plus twenty percent production. Yeah, Anomaly sure, let's get that one then. And what about the electronics factory? I think we can upgrade that as well. We can. Fine. Can't upgrade the farms. There's the breakthrough, so that was the last breakthrough on the map, unfortunately. 
more concrete. Make all the drones look like Wally. I bet that's going to be like one of the first mods. <laughs> I will be disappointed if it's not, honestly. So, how's our Thunderdome? Time to expand it a little bit. So, I'm thinking we should have at least one apartment block in here. It's low comfort homes, but they can have up to 24 people. So, sounds good to me. Yep, that's good enough. Might need to bring some polymers there. Just moving the machine parts first. Mostly because of maintenance. And now we can upgrade the turbine. Oh yeah, that requires some polymers. And then dismantle the turbines on the low ground. Especially the one in the lowest area, which is here. They have a very low bonus. Only 8% elevation bonus. That's kind of useless, honestly. You know what? Let's just salvage them right away. These are bad, and they should feel bad. I do expect some quality of life mods, because that's missing, big time. And City Skylines had quite a few of those after initial release, which then got kind of integrated into the game. So that's pretty much what I expect to happen after release. Alright, I think we got all of them. Did we miss any? Nope, we got all of them. Okay then. So, I might grab a few more up here, just in case. And then we can upgrade them. Let's bring some polymers. Pipe leak reported. We got plenty of those. Yeah, moving more than one drone Research at a time would be complete. literally on top of my requested mods list. <laughs> or the ones I will be looking for immediately. I would make it myself if I knew how to. <laughs> so there's the Martian Institute of Science. Now we can actually build one. And we will. Looks like our colonists are actually migrating to the Thunderdome on their own. Even to the crappy apartments. Alright. I suppose that's acceptable. So, Science Institute first, and then we'll get Martian University. Probably like a school, nursery, and things like that. Okay, so Science Institute. Is that actually bigger? No, it's not. No, that's just a regular section size. I think we have enough materials around here. Should be enough, I think. Maybe not enough polymers. I don't think there are domes bigger than mega domes.
it's starting to look like whoever said there are five domes just made it up. <laughs> it doesn't look like there are five domes. There could be some kind of special dome tied to one of the mysteries. Because the mystery we did unlocked the defensive turret, which now allows us to shoot down meteors. Where was it? Yeah, right here, defensive turret. That's unlocked by the mystery. Meteor incoming. Alright, anyway, let's move some polymers. We don't need so many over here. Pipe leak reported. You know what we need? We need a breakthrough that's equivalent to superior cables for pipes. To stop the pipe leaks. I'm just saying. We have a lot of pipes by now, so it's not exactly surprising. Fuel needed. We actually don't have enough fuel production right now. 36 fuel produced, 38 consumed. Okay. That's interesting. And we can only produce 0.2 more water, so we need more water and then another fuel refinery wouldn't hurt. From the looks of it. And maybe a few dumping sites over here. That will do. Concrete? Really? Don't tell me there's no concrete left here. <laughs> Apparently not. Let's set up a route then. He's going to take the scenic route, but it's better automated when we need to move a large amount. Yeah, silly transport. He will go west instead of using the tunnel. Uh, yes, I can extract deep water. There's just no need to do that yet. We have a very high deposit with 20,000. This was unlocked through an event, like an anomaly or something. It's already down to 11,000 though, <laughs> because this started at 20,000. Still, once we get close to running out, we have a deep water deposit literally in the middle of our core. Over here. And there's one more up here, down here and over here. Water is definitely not an issue. I don't mean this area would be amazing. Look at all the scrap in this area. A tunnel should be long enough to get a tunnel entrance over here, just as a shortcut mostly. Alright, let's upgrade this. See, that's another thing I would like to see, an ability to select multiple buildings of the same type and upgrade them all at once. Research complete. I mean, you can't even make a selection box, that's not a thing that exists in the game. Which seems a little bit weird, but whatever. There's Martian-born adaptability. What are these? Retirement, age and death from old age happen later in the colony's lifespan. Okay. Did we unlock anything new just now? Decorations have increased service comfort. I'm pretty sure that was there already. Alright, carry on then. So next up we got Rover Command AI, which, to be honest, we don't really need. Let's start some slightly more relevant tech. We could just start researching Project Morpheus. You know what? Sure, let's just start researching that, because I'd like to build one wonder at least. That's the final milestone, build a wonder.
No, you can't control click to select more than one. Trust me, I tried control, I tried shift, I tried anything you might come up with. None of that works. So, how's the institute? We can open another work shift. This dome is already full, right? Yeah, 108 out of 108 people. Okay. I'm almost considering another apartment block. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. A playground might not be a bad idea. A skull. Yeah, I think we'll get both a school and the Martian University in this dome. So let's get started on that. School, university. Nursery. Playground. There we go. And like a lake or whatever. This will do. That will be the education area. Or whatever you want to call it. That's going to be 24 electronics. We actually got zero electronics in here. Alright. Nothing our transport can handle. He's still moving concrete. Maybe let him finish that. And you know, we should bring a rocket here, because we got 123 rare metals waiting to export. Where are most of them? Up here, I think. Where's our working rare metal extractor? It's still this one, yeah. 51 in this depot. We could just get a passenger rocket. Where are all these people moving from? Which dome is not full? Is it just homeless people moving? One homeless person up here. 80 out of 82. I think it was like mostly homeless people moving. Because all these domes are full. And yet we had like 20 people move almost instantly to the Thunderdome when I built the apartment block. <laughs> Maybe they teleported from Earth. Well, control click to select more than one building or more than one drone certainly doesn't work for me. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it only works with like one building specifically, but not anything else. No, this doesn't work. Like, I'm clicking on several, and that is not working for me. As you can see. Shift? Nope. Nope, that doesn't work. 100% doesn't work for me. It's a Martian invasion, yeah. That's the real crisis. The real Mars gate. Where are the people coming from? Hey, what button are you talking about? One of these? That's request maintenance, salvage, turn on and off, change priority. Pin and unpin. I'm not sure what button you're talking about. I'm still not sure what you're talking about. There's no upgrade available for solar panels. There are upgrades for some buildings, like for example, I can upgrade the moisture evaporator up here. Yeah, you can start upgrading all of them specifically. Yeah, it says it here. 
So when you have an Country upgrade research, you can control click this icon and it will upgrade all of them. But that's not what I want to do. I want to select multiple buildings all at once. Like I want to actually have them selected. Or multiple drones. To reassign multiple drones to a different hub. And that's just not a thing that you can do in the game. You can never have more than one item selected at a time. Nope. None of that works. No double click, no control, no shift. It's just not a thing that's built into the UI. Which again, is the biggest issue with drones because Later into the game, you will have up to hundreds of drones. It's not a stretch to say you can easily have hundreds of drones. I never actually built the drone printer, so I'm not manufacturing my own drones. But one drone hub can have up to 100 drones. And I already have like six or seven drone hubs. I could easily have 700 drones right now. So imagine moving 100 drones manually one by one when they are this tiny. Oh, that was weak. We already built all of this. Okay. Pipe leak reported. We do have 16 unemployed people now, so let's bring some people from Earth, shall we? Let's have a look. Passenger rocket. I don't think we can afford to be very picky at this point. We can accept everything except engineers for our dome. So, a medic, a few scientists for the institute, some geologists for the excavator. An officer won't hurt. A botanist or two. A medic. Oh yeah, we can bring up to 22 colonists now, right. Because we got that tech that allows us to bring more. All right then. Enthusiast. Lazy, coward. Hypochondriac, don't want that. Gambler. A lot of engineers in here, but I don't want them. Sexy and enthusiast, alright, that works. Fit religious, okay. Fine. Religious is fine. 19 out of 22. Coward and lazy. Alright. In fact, it doesn't matter too much because that drone will be removing negative perks and replacing them with positive ones. So, launch. Yes, launch away. We will build more homes, don't worry. So let's build like two more apartment blocks. Yup. And then some smart homes. Smart complex. There, surely that will be enough. Just make sure we have enough materials in range. Might need some polymers. This guy is still moving the concrete, is he? Yeah, he is. Alright, let's just finish moving that or something. And then we'll bring the polymers. I wouldn't say they're useless, but they aren't really necessary all that much. I just want to fill the dome faster. Okay, let's go grab some polymers. 